Hello there, my Sagittarius Collective. I hope you're having a wonderful day. A oh, Sagittarius, like pennies from heaven. Um, trust your gut, your guidance, and your intuition. Trust your gut, your guidance, and your intuition. If it's... Uh, some of you could be finding something, uh, mementos, uh, something could be a remembrance energy. I feel like there is some spirituality around this. Do you? Do you? So if you're a praying person, Sagittarius, keep praying. Keep praying. It feels like a let go, let God situation. Trust your gut, your guidance, and your intuition. Ace of Cups. Oh, with this Ace of Pentacles. Oh. Oh. Sagittarius. This is almost like Hearts of Flutter type energy here. There's some spirituality on this. I believe in angels. Something good in everything I see. King of Wands, Judgment. Four of Cups and the Three of Wands. Good Lord. That feels like Hellfire and Brimstone. What 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 is going on here? What is going on here? Um What do you think? What do you feel? What what's your energy? What's your energy here, Sagittarius? Hi. <sighs> what are you doing? What are you doing? I don't know. Uh, Sagittarius, there could be some <clears throat> energy around you. Don't tap into it. There's like, damn, Sagittarius. Trust your gut, your guidance, and your intuition. If you're a person that believes in, in signs and different things like that, trust your gut, your guidance, and your intuition. This is like individually for you. So this is, you know, whatever you kind of use as kind of a grounding stone. It's like a what brings you focus, right? There could be a certain prayer or scripture or something that keeps you centered. It's an overflowing, abundant energy. But that Two of Pentacles feels like you've got all this... Uh, good Lord, way too much energy around you. You don't need to tap into that shit. Sagittarius, it's like you got choices, you got options, you got opportunities, but damn... Be mindful. There's way too much. Sweet Jesus. Sagittarius, this could be, some of you, this could be, you know, trying to figure out what it is you want. That Ace of Cups. If it's dealing with emotions, right? Just sit your ass down and take your time. You'll know what to do. You'll know how to navigate. This does feel like a, you can't see the forest for the trees type energy here. Don't don't let yourself get overwhelmed. This energy feels like it's all around you, though. Damn. So what the fuck are you doing, Sagittarius? You're doing something to stir up this energy. What did I say? You're doing something to stir this up. Manifesting. You got that positive energy, that ace of cups. So you're, it's kind of like giving to yourself, loving yourself, feeling at peace. Um, that two of pentacles, some of you sort of leveling out, knowing what you want. I don't feel like you're taking every opportunity. Um, even if you are out there dating, right? You're turning down. Um, it feels like you're leveling out. But there feels like there's a lot of sort of chaotic energy around you. I don't think it has shit to do with you. It's this manifesting energy that you're in. Ace of Cups, like chasing your dreams. Nine of Cups, Ten of Cups happiness. Trust your gut, your guidance, and your intuition. It's like you know all the answers, Sagittarius. You just need to trust it. There's like a... It does feel like you have a sort of grounding energy 
I don't know. You could be quoting scripture. It could be a favorite uh, line, a poem, a song, something along that line that kind of pulls you back and keeps you balanced out. Um, you're like the calm water, but all around you is this like turbulent energy. Sweet, but Jesus, Sagittarius. Bottom of the deck, you got the Three of Pentacles and the Eight of Pentacles. You're being proactive. You're being proactive. You're manifesting. Lord have mercy. But Sagittarius, don't tap into that sort of negative energy. It feels like it's around you big time. But you're manifesting good. Three of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, uh, three, three energy right here, life path number. Um, trust your gut, your guidance, and your intuition. That King of Wands energy up there, Sagittarius, it's like you're you're taking control back. Whatever the fuck it is you're doing. You're not stuck anymore. Some of you aren't holding on to crappy relationships and partnerships. That emotional baggage you don't need. Um, that's that's not tempting. Uh, so apologies probably don't mean shit to you. Um, there's no like stuck energy around you. Well, it's, if it's stuck, it's not you that's stuck in that energy. That's for damn sure. You're at, it's like you've got that sort of guidance energy, uh, Sagittarius. Definitely some spirituality around this. So I feel like you, you definitely turn to spirit. You could turn to scripture. Uh, there's something that keeps you focused. I do not see you in this sort of... Uh, I don't want to say accepting energy, but you're not. You're kind of doing your own thing. Heavy with the three, three, three symb symbol symbol symbolism, symbolic. Damn. Sagittarius, Sagittarius, Sagittarius. There's Queen of Cups. There's Scorpio energy. There's Seven of Swords. There's Five of Swords. Oh, who can you trust right now? There's that Emperor energy. Oh. Oh, damn it. Don't get sidetracked, um, Sagittarius. You could be dealing with the Scorpio energy, but you can't trust the Scorpio for shit. There's like two. There could be two Scorpios, two water sign energies. You can't, if it's Scorpio. It's Scorpio. Seven of Swords here to the Five of Swords. Mm. Someone is way too fucking controlling. Uh, for you, Sagittarius, because you're sort of doing that Ace of Pentacles. Oh, Sagittarius, be mindful of those that can't create their own fucking dreams, who can't see, can't see the forest for the trees. Sweet Jesus, sweet Jesus, trust your gut, your guidance, and your intuition. I don't feel like you're in a worried energy, Sagittarius. That's the whole fucking point. You're not easily... You can walk the fuck away. People, places, and things walking away from that Seven of Cups energy. The fake-ass energies. The fake-ass fucking energies, uh, Sagittarius. Some of you are dealing with a Scorpio. Mm. That feels two-sided, though. Some of you, there's a Scorpio that could be a good guiding energy, but some of you, there's this sort of Scorpionic energy you can't trust. Is that a duality? Whatever this is, Sagittarius, you need fucking answers. Seven of Swords with the Five of Swords. Sagittarius, you, you like already know the answers. So you don't need, you don't need, you don't need to find the answers because you know the fucking answers. It's just kind of don't get caught up in that Seven of Cups energy, the illusion and confusion energy. What's real? What's fake? Who the hell real? Who the hell's fake? 
Do be mindful of the backstabbing energy. Some of you already know this shit. If someone stabs you in the back once and you deal with them, right? You already know what the what the situation is. Why would you fucking do that? Hold off on the offers and opportunities. Sagittarius, I don't know if some of you have been to a church in a while or watched a service online. Keep your spirituality about you. You got a protector energy around. Four of Wands, the Hermit, the Page of Swords, the Strength, and the Sun card. You got a you got a guiding light energy. Double Scorpio, though. Um That's really interesting. Stay rooted, stay grounded, stay focused. Because the four of wands, the hermit, the page of swords. Who or what do you pray to that brings you sort of peace and resolution? Mm. Mm. This is grounded energy. This is grounded work. This isn't... um. Moving out of that sort of illusion and confusion energy. Work, love, life on this? I don't see a whole lot of emotion. It could be a lot of emotional manipulation. Stay focused, stay grounded. Find your spirituality. Whatever you use to sort of keep you balanced and focused. Who do you pray to? It's like a guiding light. A double Scorpio. Double Scorpio. Oh. Could be two separate Scorpio energy. Someone with a double placement of Scorpio. Um, it's kind of one you can trust and one that you can't. Don't be afraid to turn down offers and opportunities either. I feel like you're going to be having a lot of options and opportunities. Don't be afraid to turn something down. Trust your gut, your guidance, and your intuition. Three compactor in for you, Sagittarius. Three, thirty-three, three, 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 three. Whatever, um, thirty-three or threes could factor in for you. You got happy resolution, but damn, there's a lot of energy around you, Sagittarius, which is why you don't really want to tap into that. Double Scorpio, though. Double Scorpio. That's interesting. This is grounded work. Whatever you're doing, Sagittarius, it's very focused, it's very grounded. There could be some spirituality around it. Uh, if it's not spirituality with you, Sagittarius, it's, uh, it's determination, it's sort of... Um, Oh, what's the word? It's disciplined. You know what I mean? It's disciplined. In that positive way. As in, you know, you take the time that you need, focus on what you need to do, and then move on to the next. It is a higher elevation type energy as well. Uh, 33 is a master number. So it's mastering your gift, your craft, whatever the hell it is you're doing. Your work. Some of you could do a lot of work with your hands. That could be what you're focusing on. Building and create. Whatever you do is tangible energy. It's 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 tangible. But damn. Double Scorpio for you, Sagittarius. Trust your gut, your guidance, and your intuition. Trust your gut, your guidance, and your intuition. Whew. There is like that hellfire brimstone energy uh, sort of around you, Sagittarius. Um, I don't feel like that's your energy. So emotionally, maybe you need to find a balance. Some of you listen to some of that good old 70s yacht rock, okay? Uh, 
Come sail away, come sail away, come sail away with me. Damn. You're protected from this energy. Don't, not every opera or opportunity is one you need to take. Some of you are turning down offers and opportunities. Double Scorpio. Double Scorpio. That's not going to be for everybody. Take what's yours, leave the rest. Double Scorpio energy, though. But it's like a, a split energy there. Um, Sagittarius. Damn, Sagittarius, Sagittarius. I love that energy for you, though, Sagittarius. It's an elevating energy. You're focused on the grounded. You could be doing a lot with your hands, building, creating, uh, understanding. It's uh, disciplined energy. So it's like a, a higher study, higher education, higher learning, higher development, right? If you don't know your worth, somebody else or the fuck does, Sagittarius. Ooh, bottom of the deck. You just call out my name. And you know wherever I am. I'll come running to see you again. Who do you pray to? Who do you pray to? You've got the best of my love. Who do you pray to? Uh, there's some spirituality around you, Sagittarius. So if you're a praying person, keep that up. But who do you pray to, even if you're not a praying person? You got a guidance energy. Some of you could definitely be drawn to go to church or to focus on. Maybe you start uh, reading some scripture or focusing. Religion could be your thing. Carol King and Emotions. Uh, every time I see this, I think of the Eagle song. You get the best of my love. Oh, sweet darling. Oh, Sagittarius. Hmm. Yacht Rock. If you like the 70s Yacht Rock, uh... Smooth sailing. Smooth sailing energy for you. Sweet Jesus. Well, fuck it. Let's just see what popped out here. Eight come together. We got four spirit of place. So some of you working, manifesting good positive energy. Some of y'all could be calling in relationships and partnerships. 38, heal the ouch. This is like that double Scorpio energy around you, Sagittarius. Hmm. I love that card, the fox and the raccoon. 49, Talisman. Yeah, what keeps you focused and grounded, coming to life? You're learning, you're understanding. Uh, there's so much more to you, uh, Sagittarius. Trust it. Let it sort of guide you. Who do you pray to? Who, who kind of comes into your thoughts that sort of makes you happy? Because it feels like that. It's a happy energy. You're very grounded and focused. You're learning about yourself. You're accomplishing things. Stay focused on that. Some of you could be interested in something new. You could be trying something new. But it's very hands-on. It's very oriented, right? It's very. It's a very creative energy. 38, that healed, that healed the Houchini. That does feel like a double Scorpio. A double Scorpio energy. And it could be two separate Scorpios or someone who has Scorpio double placement. I don't know. Double Scorpio, though. Four eight thirty eight twenty nine forty nine. 38, 39, 49. Ooh, Sagittarius. Good luck. God bless. Like, share, subscribe.